Hello everyone. Welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today I'm starting a new series on faith. It's only a two-part series. So we're going to have a part one today and we have the second part next week. The theme for the series is activating your faith. Activating your faith. Faith is absolute confidence and belief in God and his word. Without faith, your destiny can never go forward. When faith is at work, God's performance is sure and inevitable in your life. In the first chapter of the Gospel of Luke, we read, Blessed is she that believes, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Faith in God is the reason that God will perform his works in your life. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Through faith, we understand that the world were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made by things which do appear. Friends, for without faith, it is impossible to please God. For they that comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seeks him. Christianity revolves around faith. Do you know that you are saved by faith? For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God not as a result of works, so that anyone should boast. We walk by faith, for we walk by faith and not by sight, because our eyes can always deceive us. We are healed by faith. In the ninth chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, two blind men followed Jesus, crying out and saying, Son of David, have mercy on us. And when he had come into a house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your cry. No, he didn't say that. He said, According to your faith, let it be unto you. And their eyes were opened. So our emotional display does not move God. You have cried enough about that situation. You have cried enough about that illness. By faith, believe in Jesus and he will heal you from every infirmity and disease in your life. You may be asking, how do I know that I have faith in my life? Or how do I get this level of faith and belief? Well, the answer lies in Romans chapter 10, verses 17. So then, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Therefore, in order to know that you are operating in faith, in order to know that you have faith in your life and in your Christian journey. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You need to start watching all the videos that we have produced on YouTube and on Facebook. Start revisiting all those videos because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The moment you start hearing the word of God, the moment you start hearing all the sermons that we have provided here on YouTube and on Facebook, your faith will begin to build up and your faith in God and his ability to turn that hopeless situation around will grow and will be secure and firm. Put the videos on, on YouTube, let it play in the background and let your spirit soak the word of God because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. 
To conclude, faith will make you read your Bible and pray daily. Faith will make you obedient to God and His Word. Faith will make you bless your household and your neighbors. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word and we thank you for teaching us about faith in you. We pray that you help us to read our Bibles. We pray that you help us to hear your word. We pray that you help us to pray daily and search the scriptures to know you more and to grow our faith in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>